Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And the social media, Twitter specifically, <laughs> has been buzzing lately about the potential reopening of Shanghai Disneyland coming soon. <laughs> Keep in mind, Shanghai Disneyland Hotel, as well as uh, Disney Town, have been open in uh, limited capacity since March 9th, reduced operating hours, and uh, again, uh, they're doing every other table, and they're enforcing social distancing and having reduced operating hours and basically reduced capacity as well <laughs> since March 9th. Now, nearly a month and a half later, there have been uh, rumors circulating that Shanghai Disneyland will be reopening quite shortly. And because of that, uh, and the, uh, the rumors have been popped up because of, come up because of social media posts that show photos like these. There's extended queues. I've seen these. This first picture of the sw extended switchbacks, uh, the same switchbacks that they use for uh, crowd control, um, for parades and uh, other Disney events, just like that. And this next photo, you see how the uh they have markers saying saying where guests can and can't stand um <laughs> obviously you can't stand on the red markers but you can stand uh on either side of the red markers but from this picture i don't know if that looks like it's six feet but um maybe it is i don't know maybe um maybe it just looks uh smaller on the picture or maybe uh, I just know what's I don't know what six feet looks like <laughs> but that that's what they're one of the things they're testing out and as well in this third picture here you see some markers with the looks like yellow construction tape about uh, where to place your feet or where, to, where you can and can't stand as well they're testing different ways um basically how people are gonna queue up for rides attractions and even parades and entertainment when the parks reopen. Now, Shanghai, apparently I've seen the Shanghai, I guess, April 27th? Um, the May 15th, that period, I guess kids will be going back to schools in Shanghai. Um, like, I guess, for summer school or whatever, I guess, I don't know how long the school year is, but they'll be going back to school and that's when, uh, that's how, even more so, how this rumor, uh, came up that Disneyland potentially could be reopening as soon as next week um, at the end of next week and Shanghai will be watching that very closely and yes like I mentioned uh, a couple minutes ago not just rides and attractions but shows as well parades like this one um, and apparently testing has been going on for indoor theater attractions testing by cast members of course I guess they're having every other row filled up or just like families of families quote-unquote of like five cast members or so per seat then there's a gap and there's they're doing some kind of seating config configuration and I'd be very interested to see how that works because it's highly likely that these whatever procedures that are, that are being taken over there both inside and outside the park will be taken over here and when I say about outside the park I mean ways uh screening that they'll be obviously they'll be screening guests to get inside the park maybe a temperature check maybe um a rapid test uh, maybe dogs there have been um reports in the uk that they have trained some dogs um they train dogs same dogs that were trained for ebola and malaria have been trained to detect the coronavirus so if that works out then maybe that'll be used that they can train use up again 750 people per hour so that could be a potential solution uh to quick and efficient screening testing much better than a temperature because again you'd be asymptomatic asymptomatic and um still get in the parks but we'll see what shanghai i know shanghai they require china requires you would have an app the code and if your code is if your qr code is <laughs> healthy and good that means you'll be able to uh, get in the park I obviously don't see that coming here to the US due to privacy concerns and stuff like that but it's a good way honestly of contact tracing but we obviously won't have that here in the US so every other procedure besides the code is uh, what we'll probably have um, at our domestic parks 
And I'd be interested also if parades will be opening up soon as well. Uh, or with the park or a couple of weeks after the park and indoor indoor theater attractions if they use the same system they're using in Shanghai. But if Shanghai's parks do open up next week and go well and our cases continue to uh, drop or things get better here, <laughs> what do you guys think the parks will open? Disney has officially put the parks on the apps as closed through May 16th. <laughs> and for Disneyland, they say schedule unavailable through June 4th. But still, if you go on Disneyland.com and watch DisneyWorld.com and uh, the dining reservations and the hotels for both locations, you'll be able to book a room starting June 1st. So I think that's their target goal of reopening. But when do you guys think the parks will be re will reopen and when do you would when would you feel comfortable going to the parks themselves would you wait a little bit or would you go right away let me know your thoughts below subscribe for more updates on this constantly evolving situation as well as some other cool theme park news fun facts and interesting videos every single day to get us through the quarantine and as always have a fantastic day